بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم مائی ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس ویلکم انجینئر سائنس کلاس ایٹ آئی ایم وہ ٹیچر مسز مدیحہ اشرف دس از آر چیپٹر نمبر فور اسپیڈنگ اپ آر ٹو ڈیز ٹاپک از گریوٹی فالنگ اینڈ ایئر ریزسٹنس پارٹ ٹو ان آر پریویس لیکچر وی ہیو ڈسکسڈ دا گریوٹی فالنگ اینڈ ایئر ریزسٹنس پارٹ ون and now this is the part 2 the objectives of our today's lesson you will be able to know the effect of balanced and unbalanced forces on falling objects number 2 you will be able to know the effect of gravity on falling objects and you will be able to know the effect of air resistance on motion of the falling objects let's recap our previous lecture in our previous lecture we have discussed in detail that forces can change the motion of an object which type of the forces we have discussed in our previous lecture recall we have done weight weight is the name given to a force that is gravitational force of earth on an object what is weight gravitational force of earth on an object and gravity what is the gravity gravity is the force that attracts a body towards the center of earth so what is gravity earth attracts the every object towards its center with the force and that force is named as gravity and then we have seen an other force that works against the gravity on falling objects that was tension and in simple words what was the tension tension is the force that stretches the material now what is happening here you might have an experience while running there is a force which is pushing you back or resisting your motion like shown here a force is applied by a person to move or to run fast and he experienced an other force which is pushing him back or which opposes his motion so that force is the force which was applied by the air and that is known as the air resistance as you run fast the force become more and more so we have this experience that faster we move the more air resistance we feel so what is the air resistance here all the moving object all the moving object feel a force which resists their motion or which push them back or which oppose their motion that force is named as the air resistance see here in this example a falling person is shown with the parachute so forces acting on it are number 1 the force which is acting downward what that force is that force is the force of gravity or weight so weight of the person is acting downward direction and an other force which is opposite to this is also there and that force is named as the air resistance we will see what is the air resistance air resistance is the frictional force it is a frictional force which slows down the object as they move through the air 
when ever an object moves through the air a force opposes its motion or in other words you can say it's slow down its motion this force is named as air resistance air resistance works against the gravity means that it is in opposite direction to the gravity and one more important thing about the air resistance is it reduces the acceleration it reduces the acceleration or it slow down the things for example air resistance help a parachute fall slowly to the ground air resistance is helpful for a parachutist when parachute is open he falls but with a slow motion so he touches the ground safely can you label the direction of air resistance yes you can where is the air resistance this one or this one the force which acts against the gravity and you are already familiar with the gravity gravity pulls the things down so air resistance and gravity which direction are there air resistance is acting upward direction while gravity it is acting downward now we will see what causes the air friction what is air air is the mixture of different gases and all the matter consists of what all the matter consists of particles these are named as atoms molecules or simply particles so what causes air friction the particles whenever all uh, whenever an objects move through the air these particles collide with that object all matter is made up of atoms and molecules when something move through the air when anything object move through the air the particle which are present in the air they collides with the air molecule and so they resist their motion or oppose their motion because they comes in their path so they oppose them to move or to pass through them so that's why this is caused the air friction you might have noticed that some object falls faster but some falls slow why this is so look at it in this example the two objects are shown to you one is the paper and the other one is the wall when we throw a drop these both from the same height the medium is air which objects will fall faster than the other what do you think which will reaches the earth first the feather or the ball your answer may be ball why because it depends on some factors we will see these factors but what we conclude from here we conclude that objects fall at different speed in air objects fall with different speed in air while if these two objects we take them in vacuum when there is no air when there is no medium and we do the same experiment with them drop these two from the same height they both will reach the surface with same speed why because there is no opposition there is no resistance which acts on both so whenever there is no air it mean there is no friction or there is no air resistance only it work in the medium or it work in the presence of air now we will see why they have different speeds or reach at different time there are some factors on which air resistance depends air resistance depends on the most important one is the surface area or the size of the object number 2 it also depends on the shape of objects 
and number three it depends on the speed of the object now how do the surface area or the size affects the friction greater the surface area greater the size more will be the air resistance because more particles of air hits the object and greater friction is produced and it opposes their motion so greater surface area means more air resistance and it slow downs the objects like in this case the surface area of the feather is more or greater than this ball so air resistance on feather is more than the ball if air resistance is more it slow downs the motion of this object as it is pulling it uh, in upward direction or in opposite to its motion so that's why feather will move slowly while the ball will move fastly this is because this first of all this depends on the air resistance and number two air resistance depends upon the surface area or the size of the objects air resistance also depends on the shape of the objects like uh, the planes are designed in such a way that there should be minimum air resistance so they can move with fast or they can move fastly so shape of the object also affect the air resistance and number three is the speed of the object the faster the object is moving through the air the more particle hit so it increase the friction so more speed more resistance is there for example whenever you are riding in a car and your hand is out you feel the air resistance so air this air resistance is directly proportional with the speed more the speed of the object the more you feel the air resistance on it now on the basis of this concept you have to try this experiment try doing this quick air resistance experiment uh, the things you need are very simple you need just the two pieces of paper what you have to do just draw the two pieces of paper from the same height one flat paper and one crumbled up in a ball what you have to do with these two pieces one piece is left as flat and the other it crumbled like a ball so you have to drop them from the same height and record your observation in a table and do answer the question that depends on your observation which piece of paper falls faster you have to find which one the flat one or the crumbled one which piece of paper falls faster and then you have to state the reason why of course it de both depends on the amount of air resistance the object or the paper that fall faster mean less air resistance will be there because there the force air resistance is the force that is pulling it in upward direction so you have to perform this activity and record your observation and do share with me the air resistance is helpful for us how it is helpful for us some objects are purposefully designed to have more air resistance for example air resistance help a parachute fall slowly to the ground look here the person is falling but air resistance is acting on it so it slow downs the motion of this pers person while in this case wherever you are holding an umbrella surface area increases and more will be the air resistance 
like here whenever the wind is blowing the speed of the air particle increases more air resistance so umbrella is trying to escape from the grip so it also have negative effects and also somewhere helpful see an other example the air resistance keeps the kite in flying position so it mean more air resistance is there so that's why it keep on flying so here is air resistance is helpful in some cases but it also negative effect or not helpful in some cases how do the parachutes work when the parachute is just jump out of the plane then the force acting on it first force is the weight and the second one force is the of course air resistance when he just leaves the plane surface in that state what happen air resistance is less than the weight or simply weight is more than the air resistance two forces are acting in such a way both are unbalanced forces air resistance is lesser than the weight so the resultant force is the downward force mean weight is more so he will move downward and sky driver speed up why it speed up or accelerate because unbalanced forces cause the change in speed and change in speed produce the acceleration so he accelerate downward after some time after some time the force acting in upward direction that is also called drag or the air resistance become equal to the weight of the falling person at this stage air resistance and the weight both forces balanced each other when the forces are balanced then there is no motion or there is no change in the motion so it mean sky driver falls with steady speed he speed up with steady constant one so there is no acceleration or acceleration is zero at this stage why because air resistance and weight are the acting on it in such a way both are balancing each other whenever the balanced forces are applied on an object then there is no acceleration in the third stage is when parachute open when parachute opens now the surface area increases so air molecules increase the resistance so as a result air resistance become more than the weight so air resistance become more than the weight so where will be the result in force now in upward direction or in downward direction the resultant force will be in that direction which is greater one so air resistance is greater and it is in upward direction so it will try to slow down the motion of the person or the sky driver so he will fall slowly slowly and safely so that is how do the parachutes work now we cap our today's lesson what we have discussed first air resistance what is air resistance air resistance is the frictional force of air on moving object what the moving objects experience and force that opposes their motion that force is named as the air resistance and what air resistance cause it try or tend to 
स्लो डाउन द मोशन ऑफ द मूविंग ऑब्जेक्ट्स इन द एयर ऑन विच फैक्टर्स एयर रेजिस्टेंस डिपेंड्स देर आर मैनी फैक्टर्स बट द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट वन शेप ऑफ द ऑब्जेक्ट स्पीड ऑफ द ऑब्जेक्ट एंड द सर्फस एरिया और द साइज ऑफ द ऑब्जेक्ट वेर इट इज हेल्पफुल इन मैनी केसेज लाइक पैराशूट सो एयर रेजिस्टेंस इज हेल्पफुल वेन पैराशूट ओपन इट स्लो डाउन द मोशन ऑफ द स्काई ड्राइवर एज अ रिजल्ट he fall slowly and safely now you have to do the following assignment the relevant questions are there of test yourself page 54 question number 1 is explain what air resistance is air resistance we have discussed in detail air resistance is the frictional force of air that slow down the motion of the objects which move through the air this question is explained so you have to explain not only define you have to explain it well with example uh, that is in detail given in slide number 6 question number 2 which force reduces the acceleration of the falling objects objects which are falling their acceleration is reduced how this is reduced what is the name of that force that force is named as air resistance or frictional force what air resistance or frictional force question number 3 that is a conceptual question if you drop a feather and a lead ball from the same height which will reach first and why you have to write the name of the object which will fall faster and it is the first and then you have to state the reason of course this is based on the air resistance and air resistance also have some factors that factors we have described in slide number 7 and you have to solve the mcqs of page number 55 this is the end of our today's lesson Thank you students have a nice day Allah Hafiz